Welcome back guys. Today's task is to move our build from our view, preview of location to our game world. So let's begin. Um, there is, as you can see, I have removed all the obstacles from my world. And also what I've done is in our build preview of actor, I've added the step loop. So you can copy this. We already created this one in our third person character. So you can look from there and recreate this. And in the build preview of actor, I'm going to create a new custom event and I'm going to call this prepare final build or simply prepare build rather prepare build. And now we need to get um, components, get components by class. The component class is our instance static mesh. And from this array, we need to get the length. There we go. And then we want to do a minus one to begin from zero rather than, uh, rather than one. Then we can drag in our step loop, connect this right here. And this uh, integer is our last index now. Then from this array, we need to get a copy of a instance and we will use the index from the loop then from this um, instance we need to set material because I want to set these materials to be gray for all the builds because we will spend resources to finish our build and just like previously we need two materials need to change two materials so the first one is zero and the second one is one and for both of these I will use a gray texture and then once this is done we can go to the next step in our step loop then from here what I want to do is go up a bit to find where we are adding uh, the static mesh components and I want to scroll down to the collision and I want to set, well, I've already set this by default, this is block all, but we want to set this to have uh, custom, the custom one. And we want to ignore all the channels except for the um, construct trace channel. So we want to block that. And also we need a new trace channel. So I'm going to go to the project settings. I'm going to click on the collisions and I'm going to add the final build channel. Otherwise we are going to collide with the build and it's going to constantly come uh, towards us and that's not what we need. So now if we would go back here, let's see, let's re recompile this and now you can see that it is blocking the final build channel as well but we want this to ignore it so let's ignore that one as well also very important is that this uh, collision enabled needs to be set to uh, collision enabled quietly and physics otherwise it will ignore it so make sure you set that also we need to do exactly the same thing for our preview of door so let's scroll down let's set this to custom and let's ignore all the channels except for the construct trace channel. Let's go to our third person character. And here I want to add a new variable. And I'm going to call this final build on. This is going to be a boolean and we need a delay for this one. So I will add a custom event and I'm going to call this final build delay and simply what we need to do is recreate this whole thing so we need a delay this is going to be point one a if branch check final build on is the condition and now we need a new function and i'm going to call this final build mode I guess and uh, now we need a line trace I'm simply going to copy one from our construction system paste this in there we go 
and now we need to drag in our uh, build preview of actor we need to get the static static mesh component or basically the parent component for the actor and then for this component we can set world location and we need this for both for true and for false like so let's connect the targets and for the location we need for so if we hit something then we are going to use the impact point if we did not hit anything we're going to use the trace end like so and then from here we can run our build mode final build mode delay uh what was the name of it again final build okay so it was final build delay let's connect it right here and now here in our delay on true we can set the final build mode launch the final build mode like so and also for this uh, line trace we want to change the trace channel from construction trace to final build channel so now i will go to my ui build ui there it is build menu i'm gonna add a new button over here and i will call this final final build button let's place it like so now in the graph I'm gonna create a on click event and here we want to cast to the third person character using the owning player pawn as a reference here we want to set our set final build on to be true then I'm gonna get the build preview of actor and I want to run our prepare build using the target as this uh, build preview of actor and then from the third person character we want to reset construction camera and then we want to run our final build mode and the last thing from our third person character is going to be set build um, set construction construction mode on to be false because we are no longer going to work in our construction mode and then the last thing is we want to get our owning player we want to set the mouse cursor to be not shown anymore and we want to set our uh, focus to be on the game and not the UI like so so now we can compile and save this and now back in our third person character I'm gonna go to the mouse left button and here after the um, construction branch check if this is false then we want to do another if branch check to see if our final build is on And if this is true, we want to set that our final build mode is no longer on. So this is false now. And we want to set our build preview of actor. And this basically is going to reset it. So let's test this out. Let's press play. Let's create a building. And now that our building is complete, I will click on this button. And you can see that we can move this into our game world. So I will place this on the ground, right, uh, left click, and our building is placed. So the last thing that's left for us to do right now is to add pieces to our, uh, add materials to our build to complete this. And we are going to do this in our next video. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next episode.